We are now 4-0 in the WNBA Finals matchup between the Minnesota Lynx and the New York Liberty. Uh, once again, I have a play on both the side and the total for wager top clients, but today I'll break down the side in today's video since I did the totals in both game one and two uh, in previous videos. Uh, I am Ronald Kabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com, the number one overall handicapper at Wager Talk since September 1st. My all-access clients are up over 80 units on uh, a 65.5% hit rate, 93, 49, and 4, uh, meaning $100 betters are up over $8,000 between Premier League, uh, MLB, WNBA, NFL, and college football since September 1st, currently on a 20 and 5 all sports run since October 6th as well. Uh, also, the number one WNBA handicapper this season, last season, and all time at Wager Talk, uh, my current WNBA run, 46 and 22. Um, since the, the regular season going into the playoffs. Uh, you can grab my play on the side over at wagershock.com, um, wt.buzz backslash rc. Actually, you can see that scrolling on the bottom. Also, the NFL has been treating me well as well. 10-2 and two run in the NFL, moved into the number one spot uh, for the regular season uh, with a 25-12-2 and two record, 67.6% over uh, at Wager Talk in the NFL and uh, Wager Talk has set a deal up for me right now to get $100 off my NFL package for the rest of the season through the Super Bowl. So instead of $449 for the rest of the season in the NFL, you, you can get it at $349. So check my capper page at wt.buzz backslash rc. Again, you can see that scrolling on the bottom page there for my premium picks and packages as well as several free plays. I actually have a, lot, a ton of free plays up um, 17 and six, I believe in my last 23 free plays since September 1st as well. So I've uh, been doing, I've uh, been giving out some free stuff there. Um, now let's dive into the game between the matchup, uh, uh for the Lynx and the Liberty. Uh, I mentioned this prior to game one of the series. The Lynx are a tough matchup for this Liberty team. It has to do with their depth. Um, we've seen it all season long and, and the numbers back it up too. The Lynx are now four and two straight up against the Liberty this year. Um, and they've been underdogs in every single one of those games. So being two and a half dogs here, I think, is actually the the shortest number, um, if I'm not mistaken. And in, in game three, um, you know, obviously it, it was sort of a situational spot. That's the reason why I backed the, the Liberty there. Um, but uh, I, I also have to mention, again, one of those two Liberty wins, uh, you know, obviously was game two of the playoffs, but the one in the regular season, Nafisa Coyer didn't play for the Lynx. She was injured during that time. And we know how crucial she is to this team. If she's out, you know, the Lynx are, um, you know, she's out on the court. The Lynx are a different beast, you know, both offensively and defensively. If you look at game two, I, I did take the liberty to bounce back. I mentioned that earlier, um, but mainly on the de defensive side of the ball. I knew they were going to be more physical, contest shots a, a lot better than they did in game one, but I didn't expect them to create 20 turnovers and, and score 26 points off of them. In total, between both teams, 43 points off turnovers in game two. Um, and I think both offenses clean it up a bit, a bit. So no easy buckets off uh, turnovers. Um, I also think that the three-point efficiency on the Liberty side will come down to earth a little bit. The Lynx, they were one of the better uh, three-point defenses throughout the season and in the playoffs. I think they do a much better job contesting um, threes in, in game three. One big factor for the Liberty in game two um, was uh, – efficiency shooting from three right i talked about that earlier but it was mainly because sabrina brought her volume down a ton and um you know prior to game one i talked about how sabrina does struggle against this Lynx team because of how well they shoot uh, how well the Lynx defend um the above the break three which is key for sabrina and in game three uh in game two sorry she brought her volume down and benajah laney hamilton she caught fire and i think we see some regression from laney hamilton from three as well um, and if that happens, then obviously we're going to see Sabrina's volume go back up, which means inefficient shots again. Um, and then on the Lynx side, the, the bench, they really struggled in game two for, for the Lynx. Uh, they only scored five points total between the bench. I don't think that happens again in game three. Um, I, I know when it comes to like the, the finals, whether it's the NBA, WNBA, teams really rely heavily on their stars. But Five points from the bench is terrible, and they're they're much better than that. I talked about their depth being a key factor to this uh, series, and 
Yeah, I think they bounce back. Definitely bounce back. Um, and um, defensively, we we should see them play much better as well. The se- during the season, including in the playoffs, the Lynx allowed six fewer points to opponents at home than they do on the road, and they're going to be playing in Minnesota. So uh, another thing to mention, you know, we I like to talk about trends, uh, historical trends, uh, and there's one that really pops up here in the WNBA Finals. Home underdogs in Game Three. Uh, have historically performed well off a loss. Those teams, those home underdogs off a loss, five and three straight up, six and two against the spread. Uh, the WNBA database that I use goes back to 2012. And, and if you if you include teams that won game one, so um, the dog at, on the road won game one, then they lost game two, and then they're, they're home dogs in game three. That whole situation, two and zero oh straight up and against the spread, um, small sample size, but just historically, that's what it looks like. Uh, so not only do the links have a matchup advantage, but the trends also point in the direction of Minnesota to bounce back here too. So what's the play for me in game three from a side perspective? Uh, I think the links plus two and a half is where the value is. Uh, they've shown all season long they can hang with this Liberty team, especially with Nafisa Coyer at the helm. I know she struggled in game two, had seven turnovers. I think they fixed that. Um, they got defensive pieces to really frustrate uh, Brianna Stewart and UNESCO. And then, um, you know, obviously I talked about the historical trends that, that favor the links as well. So I think that's the way to go here. Um, I do think if the, the Liberty struggle to adjust offensively, the links should be able to actually win this game outright. Um, but I mean, you know, two plus two and a half, whether it's, uh, you know, the game is decided by a single bucket, that could be the case. So uh, I just, I just took the plus two and a half. Um, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't be able to talk to anyone off the money line though. Uh, what are your thoughts on this game? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, make sure to leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your angles, especially if you disagree. I want to, you know, it's always great to hear other people's um, analysis and breakdown. So if you enjoyed this breakdown, like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the notification button as well so you don't miss another breakdown from any of the Wager Talk handicappers uh, on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. Uh, once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash rc for free and premium picks and packages. Make sure you take uh, take advantage of the deals over on the site too, wagertalk.com, including um, including the package that I mentioned earlier about the NFL uh, season package for the remainder of the season, $100 off that package. They also have a deal going on right now for 60-day all-access passes um, that equate to less than $7 a day. So that's over at wagertalk.com. And uh, for all your personal betting needs, head over to themoneyballer.com. That's also scrolling on the bottom um, banner down there. Uh, they have all the stats, trends, and insights you need to make informed bidding decisions. You can use promo code RC50 to get 50% off your first billing cycle. The moneyballer.com is my main source for handicapping games. This is why I'm doing so well in the WNBA and in the NFL. Um, and uh, and uh, I, I feel like it should be your main handicapping source too. So uh, check it out, themoneyballer.com. And that's the end of the video, guys. Whether you fade or follow, it is on you to make that call. Good luck with all your action. Till next time, peace.